Trucker Weather starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. Summer officially starts in less than 12 hours, so today is the last full day of spring, so it is fitting that it's kind of been spring-like in terms of weather today. Temperatures right now are on the cool side. A lot of us only in the 50s, but it is a little bit warmer on the eastern half of the high line with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and low 70s. It's also been breezy throughout the day, and we're still dealing with breezy conditions right now. Sustained wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. On the Great Falls, Kalina Guy Cam, we've had overcast skies throughout the day today, and there has been some rain around during the day today as well. And in Cup Bank, they have had rain around for basically the entire day today with over an inch of rainfall received in a lot of locations throughout Glacier County and Pend Oreille and Teton counties, which is fantastic news as they definitely need that rainfall. The rainfall and the cloud cover and the cool temperatures is all courtesy of this upper level storm system that is hanging out over north central Montana right now. We have had areas of rain around throughout the day today and some of that rain has been moderate to heavy at times and the bulk of the precipitation has been along in west of I-15. That's where we're still seeing a lot of that rainfall right now. And notice in the higher elevations, even a little bit of snow around today. And there is a flood advisory in effect for portions of Glacier County and Pend Oreille County until 9 p.m. this evening. There has already been small stream flooding and we are going to continue to have small stream flooding for at least the next few hours. So just be aware of that if you are going to be out or near any of the waters. We do have a flash flood watch in effect for Broadwater County and Mar County, specifically for the Deep Creek and the Woods Creek burn scars where we could see some flash flooding or debris flows as we go through the rest of this evening and tonight. Now, as we go through the rest of this evening and tonight, there are going to continue to be areas of rain around and some of that rain will be moderate to heavy at times. Initially, a lot of that precipitation will be along in west of I-15, but notice as the night goes on, that precipitation will gradually work its way kind of southward and eastward. And once we get past midnight, most of the precipitation will be in locations east of I-15. And once we get past midnight, the precipitation will also start to taper off and the clouds will begin to clear. And by tomorrow morning, still a couple lingering showers around in east central and eastern portions of Montana, but most of us will be dry tomorrow morning and we are going to have partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies tomorrow. And really for the first day of summer, we're going to have fantastic weather as overall we are going to have mostly sunny skies. We are going to have mostly dry conditions throughout the day. And then we'll have mostly clear skies as we head into tomorrow night. Overnight tonight, the wind won't be terrible, but it will continue to be breezy in spots, especially east of I-15. And then for tomorrow, a bit of a breeze around in central Montana. The worst of the wind tomorrow will be in eastern Montana, where it will be breezy with wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour possible at times. That wind will then diminish as we head into tomorrow night. Low temperatures tonight are going to be in the 40s for a lot of us, so it will be a cool night and some fog may develop later on tonight. So just be aware of that if you are going to be traveling anywhere. Some 50s for lows along the eastern half of the High Line. Tomorrow will be warmer than it was today with high temperatures getting into the 70s in many locations. And really once we get through tonight, the weather is going to be fantastic for the rest of the week. Yes, there will be wind around, but we're going to have a lot of sunshine and mostly dry conditions and temperatures generally in the 70s and low to mid 80s. And pretty nice weather for the rest of this week in the capital city.